gangland is So from 16 was a might man kid They keep saying I'm a young black king Okay then where's my banquet They said there's more fish in the sea But leave that one that's my man's fish Snap! That's an eyeful Alright coming up next it is a welterweight showdown Between the Nigerian nightmare Kamaru Usman And the Celtic kid Jake Matthews So here we go, round one is underway. Very compelling matchup for fight fans around the world and gonna be very interesting to see how soon the grappler goes for the takedown. Well, he's gonna try to get the takedown right away. But when he shoots that shot, when he changes that level, he is going to be shooting into a guy that truly understands all aspects of mixed martial arts. I'm wondering how, if his first shot doesn't work, does he approach trying to get this fight to the ground? Oh, is that a big move? The body will see if he can follow up. You see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Single collar tie now. Right hand punch to the clinch. He gets to his spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Muay Thai plump. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And they separate. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh! Oh! Takedown defense holds up. Now he's got the oh, boy tie. Oh, him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Win the scramble! Win the scramble! All right, so he postures up here, and now... Figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go flat. Just Getting tighter. Wow. And now he's inside control. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Matthews. Under a minute to go. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Kamaru Usman. Matthews' is lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Four sounds for the end of round one. All right, let's get you some pictures from that previous round, DC. A lot of good work with the ground and pound strike. Yeah, he was able to control posture, get himself postured up, land big ground and pound as he ended the round. What a great finish to a fantastic round. All right, here we go with our next round. And DC, you've spoken a lot about ground and pound skills and how it's a little bit of a lost art in modern day mixed martial arts. Certainly not for this one. No, and he does it the old school way, right? Yeah. Now, nowadays, you push a guy to the side of the octagon, they use it as a barrier to get up. Right. Not with this guy. He stuffs your head in the corner, he gains his posture, and he just starts dropping hammers, dropping hammers until eventually you're gonna turn to your knees, he'll take your neck and choke you, or he'll just put you back down. It's, it's crazy to watch him dictate his opponent's actions with his power from this position. Not many guys can generate that type of right. power. You gotta go back to guys like Mark Munoz. He used to call him the Filipino smashing machine yeah. because he was so good with his ground and bound, and this guy shows that same exact type of approach. Let's go, let's go, finish this, guys, come on. 
Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside of the opponent's head over and over again. Oh, nice. Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent relief. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top control? Close guard. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Usman. Oh, hammer fist here by Jake Matthews. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying, he's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He goes flat. And this might just be a matter of time. Wow. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine. But the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, pull his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out and just go for the finish. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big Oh, oh picture, perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those he might be I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made it perfect. Oh, big left. Starting to do some nice double leg takedown attempt there, and you gotta think that's something that's gonna give him confidence moving forward in this fight. A lot of confidence when it happens that easily. He took a shot, he got a takedown. What now will stop him from doing it over and over? All right, round three coming up next. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high level competitors get in each other's face tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Last round, guys. You ready? You ready? Two Here we go. Five minutes remain in the fight. Establish that jab once again. Oh. An elbow! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get Matthews him. Matthews better move here. Oh! Back to the feet. Matthews' lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to fold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Matthews' pass is denied. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Us. Two minutes and change to go in our third and final round. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Matthews has got the full mount. 
Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Got the single collar tie. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, Landy. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hips, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Jake Matthews. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Let's get you some highlights now as this one goes the distance, DC. And a lot to like in terms of his takedown game really took it to that requisite next level here tonight. He took it to the next level. He's a guy that you know what's coming. You know that you have to defend the wrestling. But even if you're trying to prepare for it, you never are in the training room with anyone that is just like him. And when you come into contact with him, you understand the difference in training opposed to being there with him. He put the grind on this guy, and he got a convincing victory. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Cameroon, the Nigerian nightmare, Ushma. All right, nice job by him there, as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it. Dominant performance, and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you got to go to the judges, Leave no question, right? Be the person that is so dominant that you know you're getting your hand raised. You did exactly that tonight, and you get the dominant decision. And coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we get the kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper and also in every performance we have seen them put on. These guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. It's in there deep. There you go. efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here and if you're the opponent you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you the got to defend but you can see him now starting to gain posture in the intensity at which he throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve it's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish trying to guard pass here not today no it ain't happening good job understanding the transition close guard now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, now he's in trouble. Submission defense there. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. 
You have to be so well-rounded once you get to the top of these divisions. You cannot just be a knockout guy. You got to be able to change it up if you find yourself in this situation that he's in right now. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. And he's back up. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie, and he lands a big left hand there. in the books. All right, so perhaps a little frustration creeping in as our next round gets underway. Very close to submitting his opponent in the previous round, but was unable to do so. Wasn't able to do it, but he was so, so very close. He just tried to put himself back in that position, and maybe this time he gets the finish he wants so badly. Again, back into this position. Oh, good knees tearing into that midsection. Oh! oh. Turn on the elbow, and he's going to chase the submission finish. and change to go in round two. Sound strike on the ground. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. He blocks the punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Body shot there. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that one is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the mat. Now what does he do? That he's got his best shot off, finished the attack. Where does he go now from the top position? Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh! He did a great job of reversing the position, using the opening that his opponent gave him to shut him off and get back up. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. the ground and pound strike. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Round three next. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All 
All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. Then every... Oh, now going to the judo throw. He ends up inside control. A lot of options for him here. Yeah, he can either go ground and pump, or he can chase the mission. Diaz's his eye is closing up. Just over three minutes to go in our third and final round. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Where the referee's gonna stop this. Thing. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Less than a minute now to go in the fight. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Diaz. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> I mean, how many can he take? Final 10 seconds of the fight. What a 15 minutes put forth. This is a really close fight. Official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' court cards for a decision. Declared the winner by split decision, Hobbs and Boris Kamara! All right, so the judges have rendered their decision, and two of the three of them had it for him. So he gets it done by split decision tonight. You've been involved in some yeah. of those. Nothing easy standing there waiting for the judges to render their John, score. John, it is the worst feeling in the world, not knowing if you did enough, right? Or not knowing what the judges were watching. So I know exactly what these guys are feeling as they walk to the center. You got your fingers crossed, you got your toes crossed, you got everything crossed, hoping that two judges saw it your way. Weight showdown between Leon Edwards and Neil Magny. You ready? Uh, you ready? All right, so here we go, round one. I 
I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now, two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all the mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start to think about striking. That is a hard left hand that lands for Leon Edwards, and as usual, DC, letting this fighting do the talking tonight. Letting this fighting do the talk. Beautiful takedown. All right, so a near perfect land. entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, was able to get him down there. Persistence pays, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to fix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done now, what does he do with this top control? He's having his way with him here. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level trappler. You don't see that very often. Under two minutes to go. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, create this space to land a beautiful guard on him. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Neil Magny. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are... Oh! oh. His head's still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overy versus Ngannou. And you know they still haven't found out to over his head. Single collar tie there. Oh, nice elbow. Magny gets stung by that leg kick. Take down a temp plate, and it's good. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Well, he certainly added to his highlight reel in that previous round, DC. A lot of effective kicks there to the body. And he did a great job of setting up those kicks. He's not throwing blind body kicks. He's not just throwing the kick. He's throwing it behind jabs. He's throwing it behind punches, making his opponent think high, and then blasting that kick right into his opponent's body. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Uh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Oh! Oh! Rolling now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. Showing no signs of slowing down. 41 total strikes. And now landed for Leon Rocky Edwards. Not the most efficient performance. Landing with 47% accuracy tonight against Neil Magny. Magny gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. 
at how he turns his hip. It's that leg kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Edwards going for the takedown. He misses. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result... Oh, that was a big take. Oh, he might have got him with a choke. Oh, nice. Stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Magny's looking to pass here. Denied by the opponent. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Seconds winding down in round two. Oh, Magny's back in north south. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Last round, guys. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Liver kick. Magny gets caught with that punch. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here at the bottom. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Looking to land the right hand. He misses. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, another strike to the bot. Oh, how about the transition to the ankle pick? Now we will see where he goes from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. He's back in the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Magny gets the takedown. Nice entry on that attack. And this might just be a matter of time. Pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Edwards. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country.
Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Neil Mag. Final 10 seconds of the fight. So the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27. Join the winner by unanimous decision, Leon Rumpy Edwards. All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly a pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person that truly did dictate if the fight was standing or on the ground. This is his fight. He won this fight, and he won it in dominant fashion. Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a ground weakness on either side when you break down. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that man, DC. Big knee there to the chest. Oh. Nice. He engages in the single collar tie. Dos Anjos not having it. Big kick lands. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. the swing and there's the miss by Dos Anjos. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. He loaded up on that right hand too. And both guys really throwing with authority. Not there. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Rafael Dos Anjos. Oh, collar tie. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Just misses with the left hook. One minute to go in the round. Five seconds remain in the round. Head kick. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Just missing on the high kick there. Oh, slips to avoid the right. And he landed the right hand there. And they set. Round two straight ahead.
momentos estão excelentes, viu? All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Sauce referenced it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chip. What a punch. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's incoming. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. He loaded up there on that high kick. He went high on that one. Just misses with the straight right. Big punch lands through the middle. Three minutes to go in the round. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Slips. Pretty good right hand. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! He got him! A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 38 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Huffman Los Angeles! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.